Take a seat. Yeah. So both uh, accelerators were launched this year and uh, filled the gap of early investments in the Lithuanian startup ecosystem. So now you have a go. So we'll start uh, with uh, Jean Baptiste or JB, and yes. uh, then Cristobal will have a go too. Okay. Let's start. Great. All right, so I have to reverse pitch you. So I will tell you a bit about myself and then tell you about what we are doing with uh, 70 Ventures. So I'm actually a sales guy who turned entrepreneur and recently turned investor with an accelerator, right? So uh, as a sales guy, I've helped uh, you know, different companies to go to market. I've built some sales team. And some of the key figures I can share with you is that we went with one company from 50 to 5,000 customers um, in just two years. I brought 600 customers myself. With one Lithuanian startup in nine months, we succeed to generate $10 million of uh, revenue. And some other startup I've worked with, we have uh, increased the sales by 1,000 persons in just one year. Right? So that's what I've achieved as, as a sales guy. As an entrepreneur, I have helped actually other entrepreneurs to make their sales funnel more predictable and scalable and generate more revenues by specializing their sales team. And of course, when I became an investor with the accelerator, we thought, how can we help founders, right? So as a B2B guy, we saw that when you are early stage and you are building your startup, the most important thing that you should focus on is talking to customers and building revenue. So we thought, how can we design a framework with all our knowledge and expertise to basically help them to achieve this? And we came out with the conclusion that by helping them from day one to have a specialized sales team that will help them to basically go to market will be the right framework to, uh, to uh, basically accelerate them. And we also uh, figured that if you are an early stage uh, startup and you don't have yet revenue, you don't need that much money. The only thing you need is to understand how to get as fast as possible and as cheap as possible in front of customers. And that's why we said if you are early stage without uh, yet any customers but you have a product ready to sell, we will give you 20,000 euro and agree that as soon as you reach 5,000 euro of monthly recurrent revenue, we can invest further another 50,000 euro. And then as soon as you have 5,000 euro of monthly recurrent revenue, this is when we will help you to build your own internal sales team that can put you in front of more customers, meaning that you will have one person in your team that is in charge of finding new contacts with one KPIs, then you have another role in your team that is in charge of booking meetings for you. So you only, as a founder, focus on the part of the funnel that add the most value to your company. And then as soon as you reach 20K monthly recurrent revenue, then this is where we can invest up to 50, up to 100K again as a follow-on ticket. And when you come to 70 ventures, we would like to agree with you on uh, already terms for those three milestones that you can reach. So in that case, you don't need to go on fundraise every time you reach the revenue milestone. So this was the reverse pitch. So thank you for listening. And I think, Cristobal, this is your show time. Yeah? brief. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So uh, JB just gave me nine extra minutes. So that's fantastic. Uh, so my name is Cristobal Alonso. I'm the CEO uh, of Startup Wise Guys. Uh, we started in 2012, back in Estonia, but there is one thing that has not changed from the beginning, which is our mission. And we're here to help entrepreneur, founders become entrepreneurs and build great international companies. So we're not here to make money for investors. We're here to help you in your journey to make a great company. And if you do that, everything else will happen. I think time is proving us right. We have run right now seven, uh, for seven years, 15 batches, we have invested in more than 145 companies, and our companies have attracted 29 million euros in follow-up funding. But I think if there is one number I want you to remember, is 77, which means 77% of our startups is still alive 18 months after the accelerator. So people tell you that the normal mortality rate is 90% within the first three years. So we actually believe that by coming with us, the chances increase dramatically. Why? Because we don't focus not only, and I think JB put it very importantly, it's fundamental to work on sales. But what we see specifically with first-time founders is that you need to build a company. You need to focus on values. You need to focus on understanding planning. You need to focus on understanding pitching. There is many more things 
that will help you build a great company. And furthermore, if you need funding, we're there to help you. Of course, we invest. But an accelerator should not be your lead investor after the accelerator. That means that you're not doing your job, that we're not helping you doing your job. We're here to co-invest with other funds. And the program seems to be working by the rates. Just to give you two examples, hopefully, and I will not disclose any names because it will happen tomorrow, but from the previous batch that graduated four months ago, three companies already got funding and valuations that have multiplied by six their initial valuation. But more importantly, two of them started with 500 euros MRR, and they're close to 10,000 euros MRR within six months. And that's how you build the companies. And that's three examples, and they will take longer time, but there's three examples out of the batch of nine teams. So today we're running two batches. One we're running the accelerator in Lithuania, which is a SaaS batch, and the other one is cybersecurity, which gives you the second opportunity, because there is one more thing that is very important. About two weeks ago, it got published that Startup Wise Guys is the most international accelerator in Europe. Not in the Baltics, not in the sea, in the whole of Europe. And that's very important because we believe that you're going to an international world. You don't want to be in a batch with Baltic teams. This is actually about life experience. It's about getting to know and networking. And once you finish meeting with these teams for seven different nationalities, then you join 500 founders in our network for 40 different countries. The possibility that this actually allows to you is enormous. And the last component that is remarkable to talk is about the team. So we have 21 people in the team, seven different nationalities, all of us coming with, we are not consultants, we are not uh, wannabe investors, you know, we are entrepreneurs at heart. I have run two companies, I have raised Series A two companies, and that's examples across the entire team. In fact, we are a startup. We went from five people, five employees to 21 employees in two and a half years. We went from 40 investments to 150 investments in three years. That's the scale that we're asking you to have, and that's the journey. That, that means that we have to develop the culture, we have to develop the processes, we have to develop the understanding about how do you run five different locations. So you put all this together, and then you say, I want to apply to Wise Guys, so please do. We have two batches running, one in FinTech in Lithuania starting in October. So we will be already, applications are open, we're already interviewing teams, we have actually already selected one team, and then if you are in SaaS, we'll also run in Tallinn. But there is one thing to remember, or three things to remember, let's say 77%, and no bullshit straightforward program that works, and a great team that you want to join and a family to be part of. Thank you very much. Yeah, so thank you for amazing uh, pitches. Uh, I will join you for a few questions, okay? So uh, you stated a lot of uh, benefits, uh, right? Uh, how can a startup can benefit uh, from an accelerator? Is it uh, a necessity for every startup? Is there cases when uh, you don't need an accelerator? No, I don't think. It's a necessity for, for every single startup, especially yep. if you are not a first-time founder and you have already founded quite a few uh, startups. And you know, that's what I often say to uh, companies I talk with, like, you can do everything that you're going to do with us, you can do it on your own. It's just going to take you two years. Yeah, there you go. Now, let's talk about uh, perfect uh, match. How a startup uh, should choose an accelerator? What are the most important criteria? I think the most important criteria is to understand what you need. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges because most startups don't know, right? <laughs> uh, but I think it's basically the, the same. You're looking for an investor and you're looking for a partner that is going to be with you for the next seven to 10 years. So you need to do the due diligence, the same thing that we do. So meet them, go beyond the normal questions, go beyond the investment terms, try to spend time with them, talk to their alumni, see hey, do they really deliver on what they promise. And I think if you do five more things, look at also what's the track record and do the startups go where they have to be and also do they have the partnerships with either potential customers or VCs to follow up with them afterwards. I said, if you complete all that and you feel the match, because you're going to live with us for 14 weeks 
non-stop. You're going to almost sleep with us. You're going to hate <laughs> us after 14 weeks. So okay. you really need to lie to these people to spend that much time with them. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.